show symptoms of coronavirus. Schools will continue minimising contact between children, including through grouping children together in bubbles and encouraging older children to distance. At a min minimum, this will mean keeping whole year groups in schools and colleges separate. In these challenging times, we are committed to ensuring the nation's children have not just a safe education, but also an excellent one. From September, we are asking schools and colleges to return to a broad and balanced curriculum. We expect exams to go ahead in the summer of 2021. Labour's new Shadow Education Secretary welcomed some of the measures, but said... For too long, the government's been asleep at the wheel. The announcement today comes just three weeks before the end of term, and an immense amount needs to be done to prepare. A senior official in the Secretary of State's own department has warned the attainment gap could widen by as much as 75% as a result of the crisis. The new Education Secretary, Kate Green. The Prime Minister's decision to appoint the chief negotiator in the Brexit talks, David Frost, as the new National Security Advisor, came under fire in both the Commons and the House of Lords, with Boris Johnson accused of politicising a key Whitehall role. David Frost's appointment was part of a wider shake-up at the top of government, which saw the current National Security Advisor, Samar Edwell, who's also the Cabinet Secretary and the country's top civil servant, standing down. Answering an urgent question from Labour, the Minister for the Cabinet Office, Michael Gove, defended the move. He's now, of course, the UK's negotiator, shaping our future relationship with the EU, covering issues from trade and tariffs to security and defence cooperation. As NSA, David Frost will help to deliver this government's vision for Britain's place in the world, supporting the Prime Minister in reinvigorating our national security architecture and ensuring that we defend our interests and values across the globe. But Labour questioned the appointment. Now, the first duty of any government is to keep people safe. And in carrying out that duty, any government should have objective and at times challenging advice from its national security adviser. And it's why making a political appointment takes this government into such dangerous territory. Weak prime ministers take advice only from those who agree with them. A former prime minister also questioned the appointment. I served on the National Security Council for nine years, six years as Home Secretary and three as Prime Minister. During that time, I listened to the expert, independent advice from national security advisers. On Saturday, my right honourable friend said, we must be able to promote those 